What's your project in Veneto region uh, and how is it for you to work in this territory? The only reason I'm in Veneto is because my original son is uh, Veronese and he lives in that's part of Veneto so that's why I'm here. Um, now I have the honor of um, leading a group called Venizli which is an annual wine fair um, and my responsibility is for the great part um, paradoxically not being in Veneto very much I'm traveling the rest of the world uh, namely China a great deal uh, that is our main potential focus America Russia Europe and so forth the Fondaco crossroads of trades and culture is now the place that has retrieved and reassessed its heritage of art and history bringing it to fruition for everybody from a modern perspective also, your project is part of our heritage and it is reinterpreted in an innovative way. Can you tell us in which way? So, the innovation, very interesting topic, um, is really about the strategy. It's not about necessarily about the technology. So, I guess I'm more associated with, you know, the digital era and the new way of communicating with the digital marketing focus. But I just have to remember that if there is no strategy behind the technology, there is no innovation. So it's all about not just communicating what's inside the bottle, which has been the main focus in terms of wine communication, I believe, but it has to also be about what surrounds it. So the storytelling has to be done in an innovative way. But again, the most important part is the strategy. The Fondaco dei Tedeschi values made in Italy and craftsmanship. How important are these two dimensions in your projects? Italian wine, by definition, is very artisanal in a way. And um, uh, because there are 175,000 Italian wine producers, right? Um, there are 550 Italian wine grape varieties. The, the indigenous, the autochthonous type. But if you, if you think about it, um, that's more than France, Greece, and Spain all put together. This big biodiversity of Italian wine, it is actually number one. So we have to try to bring that home, and that's a great advantage, but at the same time, it's very, very complicated. What is your relationship with fashion and beauty, and how do these influence your work? How I translate fashion into my world now is that Italian wine, the story, especially like in, um, in China, Italian wine is completely unknown. They don't really know Italy in terms of wine. Italy is associated with fashion, with design, and with cuisine. So what I need to do is take these three elements, which they're very famous for, so the, so the fashion, the design, and the cuisine, and put it together with wine so it can give me that extra leverage to promote the wine, especially when it's, it's in uncharted territory like China. Saint Laurent used to say that luxury is freedom. What does the word luxury mean to you? I mean, I think maybe it's, it's a different shade of what uh, Saint Laurent said, but for me, luxury is the power to be able to choose. You know, I don't agree. I will say I don't agree. If I don't like it, I will say I don't like it. And I think that is the true luxury, to, be, to have that power to say no if you want. So that is similar to, I guess, being uh, having the freedom. Can you describe yourself with three adjectives, please? Korean, American, Italian. I know that's the nationality, but it's exactly that, because I was born in Korea, so hence I look Korean, and I do have the traditional Korean um, upbringing, if you will, very um, conservative, although uh, even if I was very the, the radical one the, the, uh, the, um, from the family, but I am Korean. The American, because I grew up in America, so I really think like an American. Um, not even American, 
a New Yorker, which is a lot worse because <laughs> I'm neurotic. I, I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with, you know, I'm a control freak. Um, I have a Calvinistic work ethic, so that's the American in me. But then um, I think I'm Italian or European, if you will, because I um, have been living here for the most, the greater part of my um, adult life. And it is, it is very much of me uh, being that Italian and European. You've been visiting the Fondaco today. What did you like about it and what would you like to bring home with you? This place is amazing. It's, I mean, I think it's a great showcase for Made in Italy. You don't expect it because you go into Venice and it's all tiny and, um, you know, very romantic. But you come in here and you immediately, the impact is very luxurious, but at the same time, very um, warm. And so that's, that's something I love to transmit to also um, the foreigners, our, our international contact, um, the community that we are in touch with. What do you think specifically of our wine offer? I'm, I was very shocked that you only had Italian wines. I think it's great. You know, of course, that's what I do. I think really launch this wine section. I think you need to do some events and, um, and perhaps do small educational bits for the foreigners. It can be something very simple, just a few initiatives, but I think um, if you haven't done it already, that could be something interesting. I, and I would love to get involved. Mm -hmm.